check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound right, boy. guys how are you? I'm Isky, welcome to my YouTube video and uh, you're probably wondering what the hell is this guy doing? He keeps making squares and kind of inserting them into each other and what's the deal? What's, what's the method to this madness? Well I'll tell you I've kind of been talking about my quad lights over the last year or two um, since I started building this home theatre on YouTube and um, yeah, so the deal is the quad lights. Basically, a quad light is a group of four squares. And those four squares do two things. Um, well, half of the squares are for acoustic diffusion and the other two squares hide speakers. Now, I have basically four quad lights. That is 16 squares. Now, the deal is, you just watch me build these things. Each square takes up three squares three squares so we're looking at I have literally just built made six, oh, 48 squares yeah that's 48 squares no wonder it took me no wonder it took me like two weeks it's like two or three weeks to do all of this stuff so it's done now and what I've done is I've actually hung it on the wall with chain so you can get a good idea about what's going to kind of be the future um, I'm going to show you in a few seconds but um, yeah, so the whole idea, this is the first video of three video part in my Ants Super Cinema playlist where I'm building this on YouTube. So go and check that 
out if you want to see previous videos. But um, yeah, so the next video that I'll be doing, and I'll mention this later on in this video, I will be basically finishing these squares off because they're only half done. They're only halfway made. And, um, and then the last video, we will be inserting those squares. We will be putting them on the wall with all the LED lights that I put inside them to make them look beautiful. We will be doing that and um, bringing it alive. And the kicker, the thing that most people won't be able to get their head around is that I am doing a fabric wall. I'm not doing, that's why I used MDF, at least on this side, that side over there, that wall over there is different because it's going to be made up of different panels of things because I want to do some sound proofing as well. But this wall here, it doesn't really matter because this is an internal wall. And in fact, you can actually just walk around this wall and you know, my rack is on the other side. So it doesn't matter what it's made out of. So that's why I made it like this. But, okay, listen, let's just get into it. I'm gonna reposition my camera and my lights and um, I'll show you, all right? Okay, all right, so let me show you what I've done. Check this out. There you go. So you can see just here I've put these squares together and what I've done is I've gone to Bunnings and I've just gone and bought a bunch of this chain and I've actually just hang hung these from some stuff that I found at the tip, all of this chrome rod. And that's the way I'm just kind of this is all just temporary, remember? This is just temporary. I just wanted to see what it looked like. I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. And it looks great, I'm really stoked. Now, why did I build each square panel with three sections, three um, squares? Well, I'll show you. Now, the deal is, these squares here, the ones on the horizontal, I mean, that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one over there, they will all house speakers. So basically there's gonna be four speakers on that side of my cinema and four speakers, get ready for it, on that side of my speaker. One, two, three, and four. We'll get back to that side shortly. Now, the deal is these squares here, one and two, they were for acoustic diffusion. Now, the other deal is I want to put some LEDs underneath here. Can you see how there's a gully in here? There, all the way around. Well, the same thing is on the other side of the square as well. And that's where I'm going to put my strip lighting, okay? Now, this needs to be adjustable. See this piece here? This needs to be able to go in or go out so I can work out exactly how far off the wall I want to have it. Because if I have this too close to the wall, whenever I turn my LEDs on, we're just gonna have a really sharp, sharp hard light hit that wall. It's not gonna be soft and it won't kind of blur out and be just nice and diffused. You know what I'm saying? And I don't wanna have a sharp one, I wanna bake it. Now, what I've already done is I've actually already adjusted this to be as perfect as what I think it should be. So yeah, so there was that, that was the first Thing that I needed this to be adjustable for. The other thing I needed this to be adjustable for was because, see this one here, this is going to be an acoustic diffuser. And this one down here, which by the way already has a back to it, can you see that? I've already put it back even though the MDF matches the MDF behind the wall. Um, basically I need this to be 70 mil from here to here because that is the width of the insulation that I'm going to stick in there, earth wall. You know, earth wall insulation. Let me just turn around and show you. You know this stuff up here? Earth wall insulation. Um, I'm probably just gonna use some 70 mil stuff. I don't know if it's gonna be that effective, but it's better than nothing. And that's why. So that's a, that's a reason why it had to be adjustable. There's quite a few different reasons for it needing to be adjustable. The light in the back, as well as um, this um, uh, 70 mil thing as well. So that's it guys. <laughs> it's, it's taken me a while to come up with that design but it's working. It will work. I've tested it out and it looks really good. I've actually put LEDs in the back there already and it does look freaking amazing. But um, well there you go. You've probably seen. I think I may, I haven't sent, I haven't actually uploaded it yet but by the time this video is on YouTube I'm pretty sure it is up there by now. 
a video where I bought myself a cross light and that is going to go in the center there. I bought this cross light and it has like four lights that turn on and uh, it kind of does this cross thing and I love it. I think it looks cool. So it's going to go in the center. There's going to go, there's going to be one here and there's going to be one in that quad light over there and there's going to be one in this quad light over here and there is going to be one in this quad light over here. Um, I was going to put one in between the quad lights, one there and one over there, but I thought, no, that's probably <laughs> too much. It would be way too much. Uh, so what I've come up with, I've come up with a really cool idea. Um, I'm going to get myself a Wi-Fi, LED Wi-Fi switch, and it will be square, and I will be putting that in between my quad lights there, and I'm going to have one on this side, and I'm going to have one on this side over here. And those Wi-Fi switches will basically control, wait for it, my down lights. You can see I've got some down lights that I've just hung up there temporarily, but I don't want all the down lights to come on at once. I want to have them on two separate switches. Hence, I've got two switches in between my quad lights. I know it's a lot to take in, but the video is almost over. But um, hey, listen, let's have a quick look at this fabric over here. Basically, oh, listen, let's have a look at this fabric down here first. The whole color scheme of my home theater, I wanted to have like the back layer be a complete gray. The anchor layer, that's what I call it, is going to be gray. And I bought some of this stuff. This is all acoustically transparent fabric, but in the end, I didn't need the acoustically transparent fabric. It's not important because I've already got a fabric, which I'll show you in a second, that I'm gonna use. But uh, this is the color scheme anyway. I need to get some fabric that's a similar gray color to that. And that is basically what is going to go on behind everything on that MDF wall. I'm thinking of using a suede and not just any suede. It needs to be something like a satin backed suede. I know a lot about fabrics. That's what I do for a living. And um, I do need to put holes in this fabric and uh, you will never see the holes, but um, I need it to be like a certain type of fabric so I can put holes in and not getting not get any pulling or fraying or anything like that and I'll use some fray stop and turn the fabric to rubber where I put holes in and all of that kind of stuff but um yeah and then I want to put you can see say some black there um, I want to have you can see in that first 3d image that I've made in the beginning of this video I had all these big black triangles taking up the other parts of the image of the uh, wall well that is what I need the black for, although I have myself some black velvet already. I've got a full roll of black cotton velvet, which is probably going to be good enough. Um, and as for the quad lights themselves, the panels, the squares, they will be red. I did buy this acoustic stuff ages ago, but um, honestly, I was going to still use that, but I just didn't like it in the end. It just didn't look as red as this stuff here. This was really nice and that just looked a bit flat. And then I remembered I had this red cotton velvet that I've had for 15 years, rolls of it. And uh, check this out. There you go. So I know this is all messy and just temporary, but um, look how red and beautiful that is. That just looks amazing. And uh, that is basically going to be an acoustic diffuser as well as the one that goes underneath and the same as that one up there and that one down there. But all of these ones along here are going to have speakers in them. And what I decided to do was I decided to use a different fabric. Didn't matter if it was different as long as it was the same color. And look at this, this here is lace. I make corsetry. <laughs> I use this for corsets. I make women's steel bone corsets for a living. And I use this particular lace here um, in corsets. And I'll show you these corsets <laughs> as well. I'll put a photo up. Um, but yeah, so that there, that there um, is incredibly, incredibly acoustically transparent, more than any other acoustically transparent fabric, I would say. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. Say so there will be a speaker in there, there will be a speaker in there, there will be a speaker in there, and in there. And talking about these speaker ones, now one thing I didn't mention before, these are only halfway built. If you have a look here, I've got all of this kind of, this is quite expensive, this stuff. This is, I've got a bunch of this stuff. I got it for free. It's um, like um, that polycarbonate sheeting. 
what I'm going to do is the inside here is going to be lined in that all the way around. The, this part here is actually black. This is just a protective film. I will pull that off and that will be gloss black. I will actually pull this speaker apart and gloss black this speaker edge. And uh, then we will put, you know, velvet around here and we will make separate, we will make separate fronts. I'll show you. In fact, let me, where are they? Here's one down here. Check this out. This is out of some TVs that I, I made a video where I actually scrapped 60 to 80 TVs just so I could get these Fresnel lenses and things like that. So the idea is I will be using these as the fronts of my speaker panels as well as my acoustic diffusers but obviously I can't keep it like this. I will cut, I will cut most of that out so that I've just got like a, an edge that goes around and then I can cover that in my velvet or my lace and they will be magnetically attached. But um, we will be doing that in my next video, hey? So, <laughs> oh man. I'm knackered, this video's taken me forever to make, so if you can, hit the, hit the like button, I would really appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you wanna see how these turn out, but um, I'll be doing some more of this pretty soon. But um, yeah, so you get an idea of what I'm trying to achieve here. It's going to be completely different to anything you've ever seen, I think, in any home theater. And that's the whole idea of this channel, to try different things. Um, the fabric wall, that's going to be very interesting. I think a lot of people are going to find that interesting. I've just made a video where I've finished my rack. I've built the rack. It's behind here. All my rack and I've got my bath ridges and everything in there. It's almost finished and it looks amazing. I've, it looks really cool. So if you want to see that video, please subscribe. That'll be hitting the shelves pretty soon. But uh, as for now, I'm Miski. Thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next one.